Hey guys, it's Coop from Garage and Reviews, and today we are reviewing the most interesting release, I think, from Nike Strength. These are their grind crumb rubber bumpers. These are essentially sneakers that have been chopped up and then turned into a bumper plate, I think. I say that, we're gonna find out exactly what's in here. The reason being, on their site, I just noticed this, it says 99% Nike grind rubber, on the exterior, <laughs> which means the inside could be a tire. We will find out together. I'm gonna chop them up, but before I get into chopping them up, let's talk about how they compare to all the other companies. So I didn't know this when we initially talked about these, but Nike Grind is something that's actually used all throughout their company and other companies. They've done it with their Nike shoes, called the Nike Hippie Shoes. They've also used them for things like basketball courts, playgrounds, tracks, and now gym flooring. There's actually a company called Hero Flooring, which I'd like to review, that uses the same kind of Nike Grind rubber in their flooring, which I thought was a cool idea, but they're now using them in bumper plates. And so we've reviewed their squat rack, their barbells, and some of their other stuff. This, I would say, of everything they've released is definitely the most interesting, both in the way it looks, also in what they're using, because there's no other bumper plates in the world that I know of that are like this. There are bumper plates that are using tires chopped up, but not rubbers from shoes with all the different colors and everything like that. And I think that's what's most drawing about these is the color. Now, a few things of note in terms of the specs. Number one is they're saying the exterior layer. So whatever the outside, which they don't say how much of the exterior is this, but the exterior is the Nike grind. Sounds kind of cool. And by the way, I talked about this in the other video when you unbox them, they really do smell like shoes. They smell really good. But the question I most have is not do they look cool, but how is the durability gonna be? We know the durability of a tire plate, but there are some suspect specs about these suspects. <laughs> That's cool, <laughs> trademarked. There are some suspects about this plate that are like, ah, they just cause you to question. So number one is the durometer. Most plates that you find are 80 and above. In fact, like the higher end Olympic weightlifting bumper plates that you see are in the 90s. The crumb rubber tire plates like high temps and things like that are an 80 durometer. What the durometer tells us is how hard the rubber is. These are a 65, which is a very soft rubber. A very soft rubber balances higher and it's also more prone to damage because it's softer. That can be a positive in that it's compressing more when you drop it, but it's also a negative in that it can jump more and also it could just, it could not have the durability. So we're gonna find out, they're saying the outside durometer is 65. I'm curious what the inside is. But when you compare these to other companies, like say the crumb rubbers from say high temp, they're more of an 80, which generally is more recommended. Also, one thing that I will say is really positive about these is they're doing a tighter weight tolerance than most other crumb bumpers. So they're using a plus or minus 1% of whatever the stated weight is. I actually weigh these, I'll do them in front of you. They are very close to the stated weight. Place them on here, go. 44.9, which is really good for a bumper plate. Most bumper plates, especially of the crumb variation, are plus or minus 2%, which means if they're out of that variant, if you buy these, weigh them, if they're out of that variant, they'll replace them. Also, they do have a decent warranty on these. They're using a warranty of their thinner plates of only six months, but three years for the thicker plates for the 45s, 35s, and 25s. One thing I will say, I personally would definitely avoid the 10s or 15s if you plan to use them on the barbell alone. I've seen a lot of people online talk about them. Because of how soft the rubber is, they flop like a pizza. Like, you just, like you're just not gonna wanna drop those. They're gonna start shaking side to side. They're gonna break over time. They're fine to use if you're throwing them on with a thicker plate, but there are companies like Fringe Sport that make a 10 pound bumper that really you can use by itself. If you're looking for a 10 or 15 to use just on a barbell, these are not them. Okay, one other thing before we cut into them. These are using all different shoe colors. So you can see it in the way they look, they're just a variance, like a camouflage. That will, number one, I've been told change over time. So if you order one time and then order later and you want them to match, they very well may not because it's seasonal, like depending on what colors they're using. Also, they say this on their site, I haven't noticed them in person yet, but these are will supposedly yellow over time. When you have them like in UV rays, such as you have your garage door open. So if you want these and you want them to always look like this, you're probably gonna have to put them in a dark room or something like you do with like shoes you're trying to collect or something because they will yellow just like shoes. Okay, now let's put them on the vise and chop them up. We have, 
a bumper plate here. We're actually using a 45 pound plate. This is just the other set of the pair. These were ordered. It's not like Nike sent us these. These are ones that we actually ordered and pay for. So there shouldn't be any worry about whether they're like a different formula or something like that. Um, we got the biggest <laughs> vice we could find from Harbor Freight and we're gonna hold on with this in the back. I'm going to use a chop saw. That feels good. I have the power! Look here, all of the trimmings are black which as we suspected, I mean, they, it's not like they had, had this on the website, it just says the exterior, but it doesn't say what the interior is. So we've got a good idea that it's kind of probably just a regular bumper on the inside. I would love to know the drometer of the inside, but we're gonna cut out the rest and so we can take a pizza pie out, just in case I get hungry and to see the inside. There it is. That's quite the little steel plate, man. Dang, yeah, there's the piece. Let's discuss. Okay, so as you can see, we cut a nice pizza pie out. There's a couple things that are really interesting on this that I'm actually really glad we did. One is, it's they're right, they are doing a layer on the outside. So as you can see, maybe, can you bring that piece over? So as you can see, like a cake, there is two layers. One thing that's kind of interesting though, it's not evenly coated on either side. So this is way thicker than, like right there, that's almost showing black. The other thing, like I have no idea the drometer of this inside piece. I will say just through feeling though, it's much harder. That's a much harder rubber. My guess on this is this is a standard bumper material and then they coat it with this. One, maybe for a little bit softer bounce, but two, really for the look. I think that's it. Cause if they were just selling these, they wouldn't be that interesting. This on the outside is really cool. The other thing, I initially thought that this piece right here was like what companies do where they weld wire to the inside of the hubs. That's not what that is. That's actually a piece of metal that wraps all the way around it's a circle. And I think the reason they do that is so they add extra weight to the plate without increasing the thickness. It's a smart idea. Like a lot of companies don't do that. And I think it may allow them also to calibrate it in some way so, so they can meet that plus or minus 1% that they guarantee. With all that said, does this make me like the plate or dislike it more? I mean, it doesn't really change my opinion on it. I think it, this is probably actually a better idea because this is so soft. If this was all the way through, I just don't know how long it would last, but I think it's cool to show. Now I will say there is something else we need to talk about and that is the price. Okay, so on value, how are these? How do these compare to other companies? I will say, before I like go into price, they're a very different plate than other plates like we just showed. like. They're different. They're not a competition level plate, so I wouldn't compare them to those. I think they are most similar to, I mean, it's basically two different plates. They've got like a standard bumper inner and an outer crumb. So it'd be like combining a tire plate, let's say Rogue, it'd be like combining a high temp with a Rogue HG 2.0 plate. So pricing's a little bit off, but the ones that I'm gonna compare them to are gonna be Rogue's US mil specs or just high temps in general, these, for a pair, which by the way, this is kind of interesting. They price them on the side as singles, but you can't buy singles because they're trying to make them look like they're cheaper. They are 220 for a pair, okay? So you buy them, you can't buy singles, you have to buy doubles or pairs, which I could actually see, now that I think about it, I could see people buying a single just so they could like display it because it is pretty cool. So maybe they're trying to prevent that. But these are 220 for a pair of 45s. When you look at the competition, like say the Rogue mil spec plates for a 45 pound pair, they are 160 bucks. So that's a 60 buck difference for a pair of plates. For a plate that I will say, like the benefits on these is they look cooler. That's my opinion. Savings really comes when you buy a set. So if you go with the Nike grind plates, you have to pay for shipping whether you buy them like this or you buy them in a set. So if you wanna buy a set of every single plate, you still have to pay shipping, and the total cost for that set, for a pair of each, is 835 bucks. That includes shipping. But if you wanna go with Rogue, 635 bucks for a full set with free shipping. So it's like, man, price difference, uh, the only reason, this is why I'd recommend these, because they look freaking cool. 
They do. We'll see how long they last. Like we can't tell that now. I showed the inside, but we don't know how long they'll last. I also don't know if they'll yellow. Like over time, they may end up looking like crap. Who knows? But I will say they look freaking sick, but I would not buy these based upon perceived performance because we'll have to see. They're just pretty expensive, which has kind of been, like just being honest, that's kind of been the name of the game for the, everything I've reviewed from them. It's like, yeah, it's cool because it's got the swoosh, which by the way, I wish they would put it, the Nike Tex logo there, but it is kind of cool because it's got the Nike swoosh, but is it worth it performance-wise over all the other competition? This has been Coop from Reds Reviews. Let me know what you think in the comments. I will see you next time. Peace.